there's anything wrong. I mean, I mean, really wrong. I'm not the doctor, Mrs. Barnaby. <laughs> Yay. Oh. What if it runs in the family? Tranquilizer on the half hour. Yellow tranquilizer on the hour. Nerve tonic every two hours. Bromide after meals. Sedative before retiring. I'm like a walk-in drugstore. all day with that man. Oh, stop acting silly, Lydia. The doctor said there's nothing wrong with him. Yeah, how do I know the doctor's okay? You know what these psychiatrists are like. Oh. oh, remember, my husband's not to know that I didn't get my job back at Frisbee's. It might upset him. Yeah, all right. Bye. Bye-bye. I brought you some company. Oh, good morning, son. I thought you might like to take Barbicans along into town when you go to visit the doctor this morning. You sure it'll be all right? Of course, dear. The doctor said plenty of fresh air is good for you. Take him for a nice long walk through the park. It'll do you both good. Oh, all right, if you say so. And take good care of your daddy, Barbicans, like a good little man. Goodbye, Ben. Say so. And take good care of your daddy, Barbicans, like a good little man. Goodbye, Ben. Bye, darling. Mm. Imagine me thinking a little peanut like you was talking. It's time you got off that sofa. Oh, no. Oh, no, not again. Bobbikins. I want to clean up in here. Don't ever do that! I thought it was him again! <laughs> I'm not well. There's no other booking, Jock. Well, even if Ben was offered another spot, you know he'd rather work for you than any other man in the world. And why did he tell me he'd got another booking? More prestige, more money. Um, I think I can give you the jackpot answer. You see, I didn't know who he was. And I, I got to talking about my kids and losing my wife. Well, how do you like that? A complete stranger giving up his job for me. And I lost my temper. I shouted at him. I didn't even give him a chance to explain. I thought he was letting me down. Should have known better. I'd like you to thank him for me, Mrs. Barnaby, but would you tell him I can't take his job? Not now. It wouldn't be right. Well, Ben can't take it either. He isn't well. Oh, it's nothing really serious, but the doctor said he needs to rest. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But I can take a job. As a matter of fact, I need one. I've offered you a spot a dozen times, Betty, but you'll say you don't want to work nights on account of the baby. 
Well, someone's got to pick the cotton until Ben gets back on his feet. Mm -hmm. How about it, Jock? I'll even settle for the back row and the chorus. Oh, no chorus for you, Betty. Uh, there's a number that you and Ben used to do. Yes, I remember. Well, I suppose you go home and get the music. You uh, wouldn't be referring to this little old thing, would you, Mr. Fleming? <laughs> That's my girl. <laughs> hey, Al. Try this on for size. Okay. From the top. Ready? Thanks, Bob. Jimmy? Sedative. Bromide. Trying to do, eh? You, you're trying to tell me that your daddy's gone to sleep. Huh? Oh, your daddy's gone to sleep, has he? Well, 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 here, wait a minute. Here, you look at my TikTok. What about this TikTok, eh? Listen to me. Now you listen just a moment. Listen. things I should have said and done 